Hello and welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing well. So this video is all about how you can master data engineering with these best practices and the tips that we are going to discuss in this video. So without further any ado, let's get into it. So following and implementing these tips as well as the best practices in the real world in your project can really supercharge your data engineering career. So let's discuss them one by one. So the first tip is design your data pipelines efficiently because in the today's world every industry is generating terabytes of data every day and every industry needs their data driven approach highly scalable which means that your data pipeline should able to handle large velocity of data in any format it could be the structured semi structured as well as the unstructured so you have to keep your data pipeline in such a way that it should be highly available to the end consumer as well as it should be highly scalable to today's big data world so the next step is ensuring the data quality data quality is also a very important aspect in data engineering world because when you provide a data solution which means that you have provided like the data architecture to the data scientists which are the detectives of the data they need the data to be in certain format so you can use various ai tools as well to help you cleanse that data and build the logic to ensure the accuracy as well as the quality assurance of the data so we have already made some videos on the ai tool and how we can use them and leverage them for data cleaning data wrangling and so many tasks so you can check it out and also let me know in the comments if you want to know more about it so the next tip is like you have to master the etl process it is not like you should know sql python but you have to understand the whole etl architecture so for extracting you should be able to extract the data from various sources so for example your data could be like in a oracle db or the s3 bucket and the structure of the data could be anything like it should be structured it should be stored as a documents or else it shouldn't have any structure as well as if you have like the data coming from real time you need to provide a solution to extract the data from these diverse sources and unify them into some data warehouse also in the transformation you should be able to transform that data to the required business logic and after that you should be able to load that data into the destination where any business user can submit a query or maybe see a dashboard or build the dashboard on top of it so it is really you have to build an analytics platform as well as the data pipeline which supports that analytics platform so that is like the fundamental task of every data engineer so you have to make sure that your basics are strong and you know how to handle like this etl processes the next topic is embracing the big data technologies so as i already told you data engineering is not just about python sql but you have to learn about the distributed computing framework like the hadoop as well as the spark which deals the data coming at a higher volume so hadoop is right now very popular tool as well as the spark which is like better than hadoop in some cases for batch processing so you have to have deal with the big data so you have to embrace this big data technologies as well as you have to learn how this data is getting distributed across all the worker nodes and doing the heavy task for you so you have to understand like the architecture of this technologies because the coding part as well as building the logic you can easily catch because if you know python and sql you can build easily the spark script to process the data but what really matters is what is happening under the hood and how spark processes the data because that will come in handy when you have to optimize that code further as to support and adapt to the ever growing data in your organization so the next one in our list is like leveraging the cloud technologies so as we already discussed in the previous videos that cloud technology will really make sure that your data pipeline should be scalable it should be highly available and to the ever growing data cloud technologies and adapting this aws azure and gcp platform is really the way to go because it offers like the tremendous amount of scaling up and scaling down 
as well it is it is like a very cost effective solution because you are going to pay for what you are using on the cloud platform so that is the reason you have to understand how you can deploy your data workloads on the cloud and there are various tools available and every platform has their own ecosystem for data engineering so having that knowledge will really a plus point for you and it is a good way to shine in front of the recruiters as well so the next one is pretty ignored one by the data engineers but it is very important which is data integrity and the governance so you have to make sure that the confidential information or we can say the secure data like the transaction data or the data in which you have like the customer PII information you have to mask them to ensure the security as well as the compliance of the data so you have to make sure that only the specific user should access that data and have the privileges to that so you have to build that and you should definitely establish this data governance practices to maintain the data integrity as well as the security of this confidential data the next one is very important which is performance optimization because let's say if you have built a solution which can handle like 1 gigabyte of data but as your data grows your queries and logic will act slower and slower and the runtime of your job may hamper because of that so you have to make sure that you have the proper indexes as well as you are using the right file format like there are multiple file formats right out there like the parquet format the csv then we have the orc and there are so many platforms so you have to choose which file format is ideal for your use case so that is the very important thing for optimizing your workloads so the next topic is you should know about the essential big data tools right now so there are so many tools like for the ETL we have the Apache NiFi as well as we have the Alteryx workflow, Informatica as well as the Talent. So you should at least know about the basic principle behind all these tools and how they work under the hood. As well as you should explore other databases like the NoSQL databases. So I hope you already know about the SQL database and you work on day to day basis on the Oracle as well as PostgreSQL but you should really explore the potential of NoSQL databases like the Cassandra, MongoDB as well as the graph databases like Neo4j because in future they are going to replace not fully but on the higher scale the relational databases in the data world so this is like the best new thing coming in the market so you should definitely check out and learn at least the basics of NoSQL databases so the last one is also very personal and it will really boost your professional career which is like your career growth. So for career growth at least you should consider completing one or two cloud certification in AWS, Azure or GCP whatever you like. So for example if you are like deployed on a project which uses the Azure platform for all the data engineering tasks then you should at least consider to complete a associate level data engineering certification which can really boost your career growth as well as you should be a part of some data communities or make the connections on the LinkedIn with different data engineers out there to get to know what is going on in the market what is trending and also you should regularly attend some interviews to really know the market value as well as what technologies every industries are looking for so there you have it these are all the tips as well as the best practices to really master the data engineering field so i hope you find this video insightful so just subscribe to our channel and also ring the notification bell to get the latest updates and i'll see you in the next one